Space Fan number one here. I am doing a requested video from Kevin in Heaven. And this video is all about sorry about that if you heard that. All about downloading airplanes into Flight Simulator X. Here we will be downloading a older version of a Beechcraft. I think was in the 1920s or 30s. So to begin you click on the download button. You go to the next page and you hit download again and then let it download. And then I'm using Firefox so it'll scan for viruses real quick and then a window will open up and the name of the aircraft should be there. Give it a second. There it is. And sometimes the aircraft will be in a folder with the same name. And so you always go for the second one, but in this case it's not we don't have that problem. So you but you always check to make sure. You have all those files in the first folder that there there is. Click the back button. And then go to your desktop, go to my computer, open it, local disk C, program files, Microsoft games, and Microsoft Flight Simulator X. After that, scroll down to the Sim Objects directory or folder. Open it. And go to the Sim Objects uh, Airplanes. Okay. So now go back to the original folder with the aircraft folder. And then move them so that you will be able to drag that folder into the aircraft directory. And want to make sure that that little black line appears in between the two aircraft folders, otherwise that folder will go in there and that's bad because then you have to copy all that fo the folder back out. And that's annoying. So I'll let mine copy. Fraps again is slowing my computer down, so I'm sorry. Shouldn't be too bad. And we're done. Okay. So let that finish. And then... Give me a second. Okay. So move that back to the out. And then open it. The folder that you just put in there. And there should be like a readme. You open that. And it will usually have like instructions on extra things, like if the plane has extra effects that need to be put into the effects directory, other download information, and then just a description about it. So that's that, and each aircraft is different. So there you go. So on this air particular aircraft, there's nothing else you have to do, so you just close it. And there you go. You have just downloaded a new plane into Flight Simulator X. I personally use fsfreeware.net. I know a lot of people like to use Avsim and Simviation and all those different websites, but personally I just like fsfreeware.net. And I'll put a link to the website in the description box of this video. Please rate and subscribe and comment on this video for things that I might have missed things I could have improved, and just anything else. So thank you very much, and I hope you all have a good day. And this has been Space Fan number one. Bye.